It's GED question of the daytime. Today we've been told that we've got a square that has a perimeter of 58 yards. And what we've been asked, what is the side length of the square? So I already did a video where I explained this arithmetically, the way you might do it in fourth or fifth grade. A perfectly good way, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's simple in a problem like this, and it's a great method. So you can go check out that video um, if you're curious how to do it out, um, arithmetically. Um, but what I'm gonna do uh, right now is solve this algebraically. Reason why is you, you need to know this skill. You need to know how to use a formula both forwards and backwards. Um, and so simple little problems like this are the beginning to building those skills which will help you in more complicated situations where you just wouldn't be able to use um, arithmetic very easily. Okay, so let's check this out. Let's solve this algebraically. So we're going to do the algebraic solution. Some of you guys freaked out just because I said algebra. Don't worry, it won't be a hard algebra problem. Okay, so what I see is I see that I have a square and I know its perimeter. And so what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with the perimeter of a square formula. So let's do that. The perimeter of a square formula, and if you don't know it, it's on your formula sheet. So let's go take a look at that. This is the GED formula sheet. You will have it available to you as you take your GED test. And you'll see um, the first section is area formulas, but right under that we see perimeter formulas. Very first perimeter formula we see is perimeter of a square. And there it is, P equals 4S. I blew it up nice and big so you could see it. Okay, perimeter of a square, P equals 4S, right there, dead center. Okay, so that's the formula I'd like you to start with. So, good step to algebra. Wise, wise thing to do is always just write out your formula first. Now, remember that formulas can be used to find any missing letter in the formula. So, we know our P, we know our perimeter. We see our square has a perimeter of 58 yards. So my P is not the unknown this time. This time the P is what I know. So I'm going to plug in a 58 under P. You won't change where uh, equal signs are and you won't change numbers when you plug into a mathematical formula. Now, how about the S? Well, S is the thing we're looking for. Notice it says, what is the side length? S stands for side length. And so since it's a mystery, it's an unknown, I'm going to leave it as a letter, a variable. Okay, variables stand in for numbers we don't know. And now we have a very simple little one-step equation to solve. Um, I'm not going to look up at the top line anymore, so keep your eyes on just this line here, 58 equals 4S. So if I have a one-step equation like this and I want to solve it, when you solve equations, you're trying to get your letter alone. So I need to break up this relationship. This is 4 times S when a number and a letter are shoved together like this. This is 4 times S. The opposite of multiply is divide. So I'm going to divide away this 4 so it'll go away. The rule of solving equations is I can do whatever I want, basically, when I have an equation, as long as I do it too both sides. So I'm going to divide the other side by 4 as well. I've kept my balance by doing the same thing to both sides. Now let's look at how the equation changes after, after uh, making this change to both sides. Well on this side 4 divided by 4 gives me just 1s or as we say just s. 1s is just s. And then 58 divided by 4, look at that. I end up dividing by 4 whichever way I go, whichever way I solve this problem. In the end, it's a division problem. I get 14.5. And so I see I have a side length of 14.5. And 14.5 what? Well, um, this is a dimension. Dimensions are always measured in regular linear measurements. So plain old yards or plain old inches or plain old meters. And so my side length is 14.5 yards. Great, so now we've solved this algebraically. Again, if you'd rather solve it arithmetically, I don't care, okay? Good math is good math. Um, but we do need this skill. We gotta exercise this little algebraic skill um, for some more complicated problems we're gonna see on the GED. So if you have any questions about this problem, be sure to drop them in the comments.